they returned in 1967 to Yaruga in 1967. My mother was a very charming woman. Everybody said, you'll never get permission to go in because with the Soviet Union, uh, they said, you'll never get permission to go to Yaruga in the interior of the Soviet Union. And my father looked at me and I looked at him and we sort of smiled at one another because my mother was on fire. Very charming, beautiful woman. So, and she spoke Russian beautifully, Ukrainian, Yiddish. So, um, you know, Yiddish was the language of the home. Anyway, so they got to Moscow and I went to the chief, the police headquarters in Moscow and uh, my mother got permission. Yeah, so they went to Yaruga and when they were getting to, first of my mother, when they were getting to Yaruga, there was a little, apparently a little bridge before you get into town, and my father said to my mother, this is what they told me, there's going to be a little bridge over here. I mean, it's been 50 years since they were back there, you know. There's going to be a little bridge there, and sure enough, there was the bridge. My mother didn't remember the bridge, primarily because Jew Jewish girls were not allowed to leave the town. Their families were afraid, but the boys, of course, you know, did whatever they wanted, and so my father knew about the bridge. Yeah. Later... And the trip on the way back, they stopped in Israel to visit my, my father's brother, Zonia, who had escaped to Crimea and then after, to Romania and after the war emigrated to Israel. And so he, they hadn't seen each other in almost 50 years. And um, my, mother, my father said that when they flew over Israel and the pilot announced, you're flying now over Jewish airspace, my mother started to cry. <laughs>